A uh, little bit of a side note, it does look like Butuan was taken by Portugal, so war on the Portu uh, war with Portugal might be on the horizon to take that, uh, just because I would like to control all of, all of the Philippines. Uh, war with Pangasinan is possible, again, because Philippines. Uh, they're allied with Ryukyu and Ming. Should we take Ryukyu? <laughs> would that piss Japan off? I mean, they're allied with Japan. And it's considered part of what I would imagine Cha uh, Japan considering to be their sphere of influence, I guess. And Brunei still exists in some form. But uh, in the vein of our activities, we've reduced Castile and Brazil to a shadow of its former self in the form of a single province, and we need to move in on Castile and Brazil, or Castile and Peru. Soonish? I'm just going to move my armies over here, I think. And they will be in position when I'm ready to declare the war, which might be relatively soon. What's our professionalism at? How much professionalism are we gaining every year? Point two. So we're currently way under... Oh no, we're not as far under our force limit as I thought we were. 258 out of 306. We do have a ton of uncored land, which is fine. I've pl kind of planned on having that for a while, while we build up imperialism in a few of our provinces. So we're waiting on... Three more clicks in DC. And one in Cebu. Just realized the states. Uh, let's demand some diplo support. Call a diet and then demand military support. It's not a lot, but it does help a little bit. I don't usually use the estates much at all. And that's... that's Malacca's, okay. That's not part of Philippines, but maybe worth taking if we go to war with Portugal. When we go to war with Portugal. Uh, Ming uh, has insulted us. My president, the untrustworthy scum of Ming, has sent us an insult. Richard Button's head is as empty as a eunuch's underpants. There's a lot of, uh, lot of jokes in there. And one of our military leaders died. And he's crap. New guy's crap. We'll actually put one of the other guys in charge for the up for any upcoming war. I'm not promising a war, but I mean there will be a war eventually, so. How much are we losing? How much innovativeness are we losing every month? 0 0.03. Okay. What are the... What is our trust level with our allies? Brittany is at 36. Burgundy at 41. And now maxed out on trust. Not trust-wise, favor-wise is what I was looking at, what I was thinking about. I'll actually spend the last 10 I can with Aragon. And Japan as well. Hmm. 
Now, I don't think I'm going to develop any more Diplo Wise and DC. What's my next highest development province after those two? Fort Miranda? Produces cocoa. Development cost is 90 though. Let's see how much it would increase by. 6.33. Okay. It's fine. Free thinkers not persecuted. Gain government reform and idea cost reduction for 10 years. If I weren't sinking my points right now into something, I would be doing something. I would gladly do something else right now. Let's get rid of Dick Button. The levy. Use a ton of money. National tax modifier. Really prestige. Possible advisors. Planters gain loyalty and influence. Sure. And he's indulgent. Castilian Peru I need how many clicks on this? It's three, right? Yes. And like Cebu, I'm going to go with admin first and then two clicks of manpower. Out of curiosity, Fort Miranda. The development cost for Reckon is 69. Boston is 61. I think St. Vincent's probably the best one to develop. develop. Relatively high development. Good trade, good. Let's go with it. Three investments in production got me how much? 15 or 16% almost. It's still relatively cheap. So now we need what? Two more in Imperial or two more in DC? Yeah, Fort Miranda is a little bit expensive. So I'm not going to develop it right now. More than I already have. And I just realized St. Vincent's an island, so it won't actually... Actually, no, it will spread to, like, across these zones, so that's fine. Where's some more? Oh, it's right there. Never mind. Right on the screen. low 300s that I need, right? No, 337. Well, yeah, 337, so yeah. low-ish 300s. I guess while we wait for that, we go for Castilian Peru. Stop the privateering, I guess. That's what that means. Send our... Heavies down to hunt enemy fleets in. Wait, is that considered Atlantic South America? 
Oh no, okay, it's right. This uh this one is denoting that area and cuts off there. Atlantic South America. That's a full fort, right? Yep. Not a lot of forts in South America or in like uh stuff we've taken recently, but in Colombia there is a few. There are a few forts, I think. All of which are max level. So that should hold any armies moving into our territory pretty well. I would hope. Let's go for it. Once again, be lined their capital, and there's another fort here. They actually have a few forts. Right, this used to be Inca land, and that means there's going to be a ton of overextension. So stuff I'm going to have to core right away. How many ships do they have? Three heavies, 15 lights, 20 transports. Just wait until uh, Diplotech 76, is it? 78. Because then we can start colonizing the hard to colonize provinces. And we'll start, of course, by trying to block off. Uh, and we lost our general. I'm guessing it's the good one. The one that was leading troops down here. It is, of course. And we've won that siege already. Where's the... where are the heavies? Let's go blockade that. And there's the Castile and Peru army. And there's another siege one. Get a new leader, hope for a good one. And eh, he's alright. Not great, but passable. Let's go for Potosi. Pretty sure gold there. Thank you, Civ5, for teaching me about that mountain that is named that thing. Go see if we can hold uh, the Galapagos uh, ships where they are. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, so that's where t their 20 transports are. No clue where their lights or heavies are. That's fine. Oh, we already won that siege, okay. It's cloth, gold. All right, taking a few risks again to try to occupy more stuff than they occupy of mine. We do have their capital, so we're gaining ticking war score. What's their total war score cost? 92%? Acceptable. They have a three-star general. 
I don't think we've had a three-star general this whole game yet. I might be wrong. Hopefully just a few more months before Cebu can be developed to embrace imperialism. And Saint Vincent is an, is another one, right? And of course, I'm developing like one of the ones that won't help most of the other islands. It does help a few stuff, a few things on the main on the mainland. That's what I should, something else I should be doing. Instead of development costs, no, I think I'd prefer the development costs actually. And also, do we still have the bonus here? I don't think so. Nope, uh, I think it's time to recall the colonists. I am going to leave the one in Baltimore, though, just to bring it up to par with Green Ridge. So, I should be looking at just under 30 development provinces. One Baltimore, one of St. Kitts, and Nevis, which is a 25. Port-au-Prince and St. Dominic. <sighs> sure. Also, I'm going to go with the lower development cost. In both of these. Okay, I was going to say I wasn't sure if I had a core, the, a full core there yet. Local development cost, of course, increases the chance that the development increases in those places. Alright, we've got another siege. And I forgot to move my armies around. That would be where the... Heavies and the lights are. And we will force them out and hopefully destroy their navy. Not that they're going to be able to have a navy after this war anyway, because I plan on taking all of their coastline. And in a few months, Cebu will embrace imperialism.
36% on this war score. Peruvian flagship sunk. Good riddance. Five prestige. They'll go to Nazga next. Time, maybe? Nope, we're one away. I think this is their last. Nope, they're still got two more forts. William Point. Okay, that's them taking stuff. Or Whitham Point. And will that be the entirety of their Navy sunk? Yep, and then we capture the light. Which might get sunk on its way back there, but who cares? Oh wait, no, we have the Panama Canal, it won't get sunk. We've gained the colonialism casus belli against Ottomans. They have colonies close to ours. And let's get this spread of imperialism underway. Finally at a hundred. Going to I'm curious as to how fast this would spread this will spread. 0 0.08. So not worth actually keeping that institution going, I think. The good news is it's spreading to all of the things it shares a C tile with. And now we need to save up more military points. About 400 total. Just 224. And of course I am doing that just as I'm going to need to be coring a bunch of overextension provinces. Oh, this is in... Never mind. Still at medium enthusiasm, so I think we can push that higher and get more of their land. Are they actually going to go see Siege Down Van Halen? Dumbasses. They might as well just jump into the Caribbean. Put 
Ducks Navy together. And go back to St. Vincent. Thirty nine point six per cent in Saint Vincent. Siege of Jalja is over. Oh, so one more siege left and we're good. Still medium enthusiasm though. And our ruler died. Righteous, please. He's fairly young. Righteous would be amazing. No. Nope. Good good trade, though. I'll take it. We're still going to... Uh, we're going to stop re uh, choosing new candidates now. We're going to re-elect this one for a while. Push on monarch points to be... Pretty high, I think. Alright. They are at low enthusiasm, but I'm going to go for that last fort before I make peace. But we are getting close to having all the Americas in our grasp. And uh, then it's a mat only a matter of time before we can start actually colonizing the previously uncolonizable and... Uh, I think priorities would, there would be uh, Alaska, Nunavut, and I want to say the Falklands are technically part of the Americas, according to the game anyway. Or no, the Falklands are over here. This is South Georgia. So yeah, basically prioritize the coastal provinces in America and then look elsewhere to see if we can... Of course, I think uh, Wake and Midway are going to get grabbed pretty quick. I might grab those first, along with Iwo Jima, maybe. I would hope that Japan grabs Iwo Jima, but... I don't think they even have... They have to have colonists, don't they? Apparently they don't. Okay, I guess that would have been conquered from... Someone. Alright, well... Uh, we have a province that has embraced imperialism. Soon, hopefully, that will be two, and it will start to spread, and we might see imperialism before I was actually expecting to, which was pretty much going to be never.